oh, you wanna hear more of my first world problems? Well, since you asked, I came back from Colorado for a week, right? And my house just like blew up. The garbage disposal was broken. My toilet is a house with a dishwasher. Easier if I. Oh. Huh! Wooden floors, walls, and windows. This is the last time. This is the last video right here in this spot. The house. Well, I'm moving next weekend if all go goes to plan. So this is it. I tried to sell the new owners this couch. I mean, how perfect is it? This is a place where I don't. So with that, I, I'm going back and forth on this because the, one, there's a few reasons I didn't want to use gear. One is like, I felt like I didn't need it. I felt like I could. Well, this should be the last time you guys ever see this house. You know I've had some issues selling it. It's fallen through three times now. Tomorrow is the fourth time, the fourth potential buyer, and I think it's going to go through. This is the first time we've ever had a closing date set. Let's put it like that. So yeah, and as excited as I am to be done with this and not having to pay for it anymore, honestly, it's kind of bittersweet. This was my first house. I bought it when I was 24 years old. I just, I just decided that home ownership isn't for me right now. Mainly because it takes me out of work mode. A house is a lot of work. And even if it's just an hour or two every single week, that's an hour or two that I could be doing things that are gonna get me to places I wanna be. And this is, this is just a house, you know? There'll be plenty of time for this. When I have a family, it's just, I got in over my head now. It's, it's a big home, I get that. It's 3,000 square feet, four bedrooms. A lot more than I needed, but I was young and dumb, you know? You know, I hope in 10 years I can look back on this footage and genuinely laugh. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. The older you get, the more you are going to realize one of the most widespread problems that we all face is incompetence. And not within ourselves, but within other people. And the issue with that is that when other people are incompetent, it's going to negatively affect you. But here's the issue. You can't let people not knowing what they're doing stop you from doing what you're doing. If so, you will never get anything accomplished. You kind of just got to take the punches and roll with them because there's some things that you just can't control. And that's hard for someone like me who's more of a control freak to understand. But it just happens, man. So many people have told me that I have bad luck, and I disagree. I personally don't believe in bad luck. I think you can have good luck, no luck, and anything that happens to you that you perceive as bad is just bad decisions. I own everything. I've surrounded myself with these incompetent people. Bad decisions on my part. This entire process, I own it. Things don't happen to you. They happen because of you. I believe that 100%. It's on me. I take ownership. We'll get it done eventually. And honestly guys, if you're dealing with something similar where people are costing you thousands and thousands of dollars, one of the biggest suggestions I can give you is to use Travis to save 30% on PEScience.com because you're going to need this stuff regardless. <laughs> I know that I've said it before guys, but sometimes you just got to smile through the bullshit. I mean, this is part of life. It happens to everybody. But maybe just smile when you're by yourself. Smile on the inside because when you're around these people, at least from my perspective, you don't want them to think that it's all good and they can just walk right over you. 
I have been ruthless these last few days. It's not been the nice version of Travis. I've been a jerk, and it's been kind of intentional. Guys, we gotta change up the vibe of this video. It just feels too, like, Debbie Downer-ish. I just, I don't know, I just don't like it. It seems too dramatic. Hey, but first, before we get into anything else, will you please like the video? Just click that thumbs up button. That truly does help me out a lot. But I do not want this to be like, why me? My life is so terrible. That is not what this is at all. And I hate the fact that all of this sounds like complaining and I, I really feel like the difference between complaining and just venting is when you just talk about all of your problems to the masses because you want attention that to me is complaining like if you're talking to thousands of people about what's going on in your life there's there's no way all of them can truly care about that on the on the flip side we're human you know so if you have a few close people in your life that you want to talk about your problems to to get off your mind perfectly perfectly fine i'm just trying to talk myself out of complaining to you guys right now because sometimes i'm not gonna lie to you guys i was in my feelings and i was you know bad things can happen but it's all good you know it will it will get situated eventually we will sell it well maybe not i honestly had this thought in my mind like I should just pay this house off and burn it to the ground I really that thought ran through my mind, which is absolutely crazy. I realized that but anyway, we'll talk to you guys soon Travis, we don't care about your stupid life advice or what you're doing in the gym We just want to see you put things in your mouth, man You know that guy or girl that are always just there? It's not like you have anything against them, but you just have no desire to ever go see them? That is exactly how I feel about Jimmy John's. I would say this is my least favorite sub shop of all time, but they have this lettuce wrap, and if you guys have been watching, you know I've been doing the keto thing or the low carb thing throughout the day and then having my carbs at night. I gotta say, I'm pretty underwhelmed by this. I mean, it tastes like something your six-year-old brother can make. That's the thing about Jimmy John's. It's not like it's bad food. It's just, it's the most average food that you could possibly imagine. They don't even make hot sandwiches. So all, right off the bat, they're losing points in my book. It just, I can't believe that people willingly go to this place. But hey, to each their own. This is, let's see, ham, double ham. No, sorry, double turkey, roast beef, cheese, onions. I mean, if you're looking for something low calorie, you're in a pinch, this will definitely do the trick. There's nothing wrong with it. There's just nothing. It's not like Chipotle. Let's put it like that. And by the way, you guys know you can always save. I stand by my original position when I say Jimmy John's is just drunk food. It's open late. That's great when you leave the bar. But other than that, meh. And by the way, I just posted a new PES giveaway on my Instagram, so if you guys are not following me there already, make sure you do so, so I can feel validated and important. Super simple dinner tonight. We're going to have two of these Trader Joe's chili line chicken burgers. I love these things. Then we're going to have some Brussels sprouts. And that's going to be it for dinner number one, at least. I don't know who sent this to me. Grow your own Brussels sprout, but thank you. Show yourself. I have no idea where that thing came from. Guys, I'm getting way too old for this, but I think the low carb thing during the day is going really well for me. I've really enjoyed it. I found that I'm not getting those sugar cravings that I used to get at like one or two o'clock after lunch. Now I still have the craving to get stimmed out of my mind. I don't think that's ever gonna go away, but honestly, I'd prefer, I think I prefer caffeine over carbs, which, which is saying a lot. But what I really like is at night, man, you just go to town. So I think I'm at like, I don't even know how many carbs, but I got to eat like 200 more grams. So that's never an issue. And I know everybody's expecting like cookies and donuts and all that. But guys, this is what I love. Oatmeal, pumpkin, PS Select protein powder, 30% link in description. I'm trying to close this refrigerator. <laughs> I'm not even strong enough to do that. Uh, do I even lift? Then we're gonna have 300 grams of russet potato, got some ketchup on there. I always take my true malte right before bed. I don't know why, just when I prefer to take it. I'm gonna have a sleeve of rice cakes and that is gonna do it for the night. What a turn of events. This video <laughs> was supposed to be about me selling my house. But you know what they say, if you wanna make God laugh, tell him about your plans. Who would have thought? And I, I really considered just cutting that whole part out at the beginning. Like, why, why even go down this route? But you know what? My life is too mundane during the week. I've got nothing else for the title anyway. All about perspective, my friends. I've had a very, very good life. It keeps getting better. Just got to get over this hurdle and we will be muy bueno. That's something in Spanish, I'm pretty sure. But I feel like you guys are going to be kind of disappointed if I don't do something. Go out with a bang, you know, for the end of this video. I almost make it like, you know how in the videos or in the movies, the people get really sad and they start eating like whole crates of ice cream? 
I don't really want to do that. I'll, I'll figure it out. Maybe tomorrow though, because I'm tired. It's month end close. I'm just, I'm just complaining. Believe it or not, this is like the last thing that I want to do right now. I was at work for like, I don't know how many hours, a long, long time. I've been there since like 6 a.m. But sometimes you got to suck it up and do what it takes to please the people. How? <laughs> this is just ignorant, man. Go! No. I have to think of a more strategic way to eat those cookies, but that's one way to get your carbs at night. You know what, guys? Sometimes... I'm just freaking soft. I'm driving home from work. I'm like, I'm tired. I just want to go home and lay on the couch, but I have to edit a video. Got to wake up early tomorrow to work on a project, which is, which is going to be fun. But I'm like, I just want one day just to do nothing. But honestly, I would probably be bored out of my mind after about two hours. I just, you know what? Leave a comment down below that says, suck it up, buttercup. It ain't that bad. Life is good. I'm going to make my oatmeal for next week. I'm going to go upstairs, do my thing. Thank you so much. Do, what is wrong with me, guys? I'm... I'm not tired. I don't get tired. It doesn't happen. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything. Anything in the entire... Why am I... Anything in the entire world. And you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That's pretty awesome. Oh, by the way, if you go to TransTravis.com, you can probably buy the ebook now. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. That really does help me out a lot. I look forward to talking to you guys next time.